Hello and welcome. This is Rafi from Doric. In this video, we are going to learn how to add Facebook pixel on our website so that we'll be able to track our visitors activities and we'll be able to retarget them on our future ad campaign based on the activities they have done. So throughout this video, I am going to activate the Facebook pixel here on this website. To start the process, I have to click on this edit site and it is going to load the Doric website editor panel. Now we have to visit the business page of our Facebook. So let's type out business.facebook.com. And after that, I'm going to click on this all tools. And from here, I'm going to visit the ads manager or the events manager. So let me click on events manager. After that, I'm going to click on this hamburger menu. So let's click on this. Let's click on business settings. And from here, I'm going to add my domain name first. We are going to verify the domain as it is required for the new rule. So we are going to click on brand safety. It is going to show us this domains option. So let's click on domains. After that, we have to click on add. And then we have to provide our domain name, but we have to make sure we are not adding these parts on the domain. So let's go back to our website. After that, I'm going to visit this site here and let's copy the domain name copy let's go back and paste the domain name i have to remove the forward slash and there's https characters here after that we have to click on add it is going to show us these options which we can use to add the code to our website and verify the website with our business page so we have got few other options as you can see upload an html file to your root directory update the dns text record with your domains register so you can follow whatever best suits and whatever you feel easy for you but i'm going to go with this add a meta tag to your html source code option after that if you just read copy this meta tag so we have to click here on this bold text and these codes are already been copied now if you just take a look here paste the meta tag into the head tag section of our website so let me take you back to our Doric website editor panel. After that, we have to click on this site settings option. And from here, we have to go to this advanced option where we are going to find this field to provide and add the code to our header section. So let me simply paste the code that I have copied. So control V or command V if you're using Mac. And then we have to click on this cross icon and after that you have to make sure you are clicking on this publish button so that the code will be added to your website and it is going to start working all right now let's go back to facebook business page and then we have to verify after you have published the home page confirm that the meta tag is visible by visiting uh, this website and viewing the html source so let me take you here after that i'm going to visit the source page and after that, you're going to hit Control F or Command F of your keyboard to find this panel. And then we are going to use Control B and just take a look. We have got this code added on our website. Now let's cross this out. After that, let's go back to the Facebook business page or business panel. Then we have to click on this verify domain. So let's click on this. And here we go. Our domain has been verified, right? So this is how you have to verify your domain name at the very beginning. So let's click on done. So we are done with domain name verification. Now let's add the pixel. So we have to go here on this data sources option. After that, we are going to find this pixels option. So let's click on pixels. After that, we have to click on this add button and then we have to provide our pixel name so i'm going to provide a pixel name let's say doric test pixel after that you have to provide your domain name here or actually it is optional we can keep it blank as well no worries so i'm going to click on continue after that we have to select this one set up the pixel now so let's click on this and then we are going to add manually add pixel code to website. So we are going to click on this. After that, we have to copy the code. And if you just notice here, copy and paste the pixel code into the bottom of the header section of your site, just above the ending hat tag. So we have to go back to our Doric control panel. After that, we have to click here on the site settings again. Then let's go to advanced. After that, we have to enter 
this code right here control v or command v and then we have to cross this out then let's click on publish again so that the code will be injected and it is going to work fine let's go back to the business settings page after that let's see what else we have got turn on automatic advanced metering uh, matching it should be turned on so that you will get more options of pixel setups then we have got test the base code now it's time to provide our domain name here so let's copy the domain name from here copy let's go back let's paste it here and let's click on let me just remove them let's click on send test traffic all right now let's go back and we should see that it is going to be active soon yeah here we go we have injected our pixel facebook pixel on the website now so let's click on continue after that we can start creating events for the facebook pixel so use facebook event setup tool if we click on this we are going to find this option where we have to provide our url so if the code is already started working then we'll be able to set up our events easily by dragging and dropping and actually selecting the options where we want to add the events on so let me just try if it is working as of now or if we have to wait for a few minutes so let's copy the domain let's go back after that i'm going to paste the domain here let's click on open website and here we go it is uh, already just working on the website so we are going to click on next next and get started after that now we'll be able to start adding the events or the actions so to do this events on this page as you can see here track new button so let me click on track new button and whenever someone will visit this website it is already selected the view segment is already added now let's say if someone clicks on sign up we want to add it as an event so let me select an event and after that i'm going to lead whenever someone will sign up under on our website they will become a lead so we are going to select this one as lead and after that and you can actually have more options as you can see so depending on the actions and activities you can select one of these options for sure now as i have selected lead and after that i'm going to select this one don't include value and let's click on confirm just take a look this event has been added whenever someone will click on sign up and they will provide the information they will be counted as our lead now as you can see here start learning you can add this one as another event as well so let me click on this track new button after that we are going to click here and then start learning okay so i'm going to select this one as let's say free trial okay start trial and then i'm going to click on confirm here we go we have got two events added we have to do a few more things we have to click on uh, all events to see how many events and which events we have so far added and then we have to click on finish setup after adding all the events that we want to track and then click on finish and we have to click on yes then if you want to write something here as a feedback you can write other than that simply skip this and click on submit thanks for helping us improving let's click on done and we are actually done event setup complete your events have been set up you can test your events to verify that they are friendly uh, firing correct so we are going to click on test events and we are going to the website let's remove this part reload this website and after that let's go back to the business settings and from here we are going to click on open in events manager and yep so now we should be able to see the activities as you can see here these uh, tracking codes has been added if i go back here let's click on sign up so if i click on start learning let me just reload this page to see if anything happened here after clicking uh, yeah just take a look we have got lead we have clicked once here on this sign up which was lead event then we clicked on start trial i mean on this button once so it just started tracking so this is how we have to set up facebook pixel on our website and now we'll be able to track our visitors activities based on the events that we are going to add and we'll be able to retarget them on our future ad campaigns so i believe you have found this video helpful if you have got any further question please feel free to ask us by commenting below and visit us at doric.com for more information thank you so much for staying with us have a good day bye bye